Welcome to this shortwave radio channel and uh, well, I am testing two antennas. They are both MLA30 antennas, but if you've seen my video, when I got the new one, the latest one, it said MLA30 Plus. So right now, uh, in this setup, my antenna A is the MLA30 Plus. Antenna B is the MLA30 original. And there is a difference across the spectrum of reception and it seems that they did make some diff some some changes to the uh, electronics because it doesn't perform the same and it actually performs better in many cases it depends on the frequency you're tuning so the first test that I done was tuning signals of known uh, of course you know force and 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 of course trying to to find things I can test. So an example is um, I'll actually here go to 3330, which is uh, CHU time signal. So it's not very strong right now, but this is with the stock MLA30. And now I'm going to switch to antenna A, which is MLA30+. Plus. So as you see, you can't really see a real difference in that frequency range. So at 3 megahertz, um, there's really nothing much happening in what is different or not. Uh, another signal I'll try. CFRX 6070. This is on stock MLA30. And I will switch. I will switch to the MLA30 Plus. Even in the waterfall, you can't really see that much of a difference. So no real difference there either. I'm going to start. We're going to go higher in frequency. Let's uh, let's check WRMI 9395. So here's WRMI 9395. Now let's try with. Uh, Antenna A. That's MLA 30 plus. Now there's a deep fade, of course. Let's choose another signal here. Oh, Spain. Let's use Spain. So Spain on 96.90. That's on the MLA 30 plus. And let's now try the original MLA 30. Really no difference at that state. So we could see that the S meter barely or even didn't move. But as we go higher in frequency, it changes. Now let's tune. Let's go to the uh, 25 meter band. So 25 meter band. We're going to tune um, 11860. Well, some music, so let's change to 11820. Well, that's the Holy Quran, so I'm going to change to 11775. Okay. 11775. Stock MLA30, the original one. I'm not going to switch to MLA30+. Look at how the signal has improved. Not a word is heard for three days. I submit nobody here has had the relationship that Peter had. I'm going to go back to the original MLA 30. The days go by and resurrection morning comes. Watch Jesus' treatment of that problem. Same that is interesting. As we go higher in frequency, that's where we start seeing changes in performance. So here's uh, Brother Scare on 13845. Let's switch to antenna, the new MLA 30 plus. What was that? Talk to me, Lord. Look how stronger the signal is. Prepare my heart for what I'm going to have to Some of you have been mentioning, and I had, of course, we, we can notice that the performance of the MLA 30 isn't equal across the shortwave band. And some of you have said that compared to other antennas, you had noticed that as you go higher, the original MLA 30 seemed to not perform as well. 
Well, you know what? They seem to have fixed that. And we could see it here because the signal is actually stronger. And this is across the upper frequencies. As I go higher, all the frequencies that I tuned higher were all stronger on the MLA 30 plus. But like you see, it seems that below 10 megahertz, there's no real difference. It starts around 10, 11 megahertz where it gets stronger and it stays better in performance up to the higher frequencies. The highest frequency I was able to test it was 21525 Radio Africa from WRMI, which was barely audible. Well, it was actually better on the MLA 30 Plus, the new one. Another surprise. Let's go down. Let's go down to the medium wave band. Let's remove the filters. So now we're going to choose a signal, say 760 kilohertz. So from that point on, nobody can do that. S meter. So look, the signal to noise. Nobody so this is a station in the, uh, I believe, in the state of New York. This is original MLA 30. Look at the ch the difference on medium wave when I'll switch to the MLA 30 plus. Signal is better, stronger. Immediately the signal is improved. It seems that on medium wave it's better, also. It never. So this is interesting. Almost everything that I've tuned on the medium wave band does seem better with the MLA 30 plus. Son, in my day, we 580 CFRA there Ottawa, there was one way, MLA 30 plus. One okay. I'm going to switch to the original that? MLA 30. Look how weaker it is. So higher frequencies are improved. The mid frequencies, like below 10 megahertz on the shortwave spectrum, is pretty much the same. Medium wave is better. But you know, it's rated 0.5, which is 500 kilohertz. So I thought maybe it doesn't perform well in long wave. So we all know that the original MLA 30 doesn't perform very well below f about 500 kilohertz. It's not really good in, in long wave. Well, you know what? Now, I'll tune a local airport non-directional beacon 248 kilohertz this is 248 kilohertz we barely hear it now I'm gonna switch to MLA 30 plus huge difference huge difference so this is interesting because it's telling me that that MLA 30 plus is an improved version of the MLA 30. That means that if you buy one, you should make sure you get the MLA 30 plus because it's even better. Now, the original MLA 30 isn't bad, but now you see that MLA 30 Plus, they definitely changed something. Somebody somewhere worked on the circuit design and said, well, you can, we can make this better. And it definitely is on many frequencies. So, I'm going to continue testing, of course. And as I'm going to play around with the antennas tonight, I'm going to be switching between MLA 30 and MLA 30 Plus. And, uh, of course, I'll have probably more observations, but, you know, I've just shown you the first tests. This is very interesting. The MLA 30 Plus is really much better. So here's uh, 407 kilohertz, another non-directional beacon. So this is with the MLA 30 Plus, and it's barely audible. Let's go with the original one. Forget it, it totally disappears. Totally disappears. So we can already see, and I've been testing it for an hour, and I can already see that 
the original MLA 30 is not as good in performance. The MLA 30 Plus is really better on long wave, really better on medium wave, and better above about 11 or 12 megahertz up to 30 megahertz. Between, you know, the 160 meter band and about 11 megahertz, it performs pretty much the same. So they tweak something, they change something, or I don't know if it's just a, a, a setting that they've changed, but definitely it doesn't perform the same. So more tests coming, more uh, more personal observations of MLA30 versus MLA30 Plus. Magnetic loop antenna. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.